Good morning! I find myself on a ladder in Silverstone in a car park. Yes, I know it's a very funny place to start a video from in Silverstone, but check out the caliber of epicness behind me. That is the sound of a 458 Challenge car, and we are here with Club GT Events to have the best Wednesday this side of May. Let's hit it. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Okay, so as I mentioned, I wouldn't normally start a video in the car park, but behind me is an eclectic mix of undoubtedly some of the world's best super and hyper cars. Now, the reason that I'm with Club GT events, when you've got taking pride and safety in your baby that is your vehicle, you wanna be on track with like-minded people who are of a similar mindset, but also ideally a similar driving ability. The great thing about Club GT is they bring all of these people together, as you can see, in one place for a very cool, very safe day. Every time I'm just blown away by how well organized it is. Today is a super sunny Silverstone. It's very rare, I'm very happy. But today is not necessarily all about these cars. Today, as the video would suggest, is about taking the GT3 on track for the very first time. Super pumped for this. I'm basically having ran it in for the first 500 miles on the North Coast 500 video, which you may or may not have seen. This is now the time to experience the GT3 on track for the very first time. And ideally, if I can use my cognitive abilities to recall what the Gen 1 was like and see how it has evolved, that would be marvelous. So without further ado, let's check out the uh, incredible cars around here and jump in the GT3 see what's what. Let's hit it. Okay, the moment that I have very much been waiting for. Show the marshal what we're up to. Here we go. A lap of Silverstone full Grand Prix circuit in the Gen 2 991 GT3. <laughs> so, what's it like? Well, let's get the tires up to temperature first and then We'll tell you what it's all about, but first impressions. Well, I mean, wonderful. Wonderful is the word. Um, the talk, there's so much talk compared with the previous generation car. And at that 9,000 RPM is insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, the brakes are phenomenal. You can really anchor on pretty hard and pretty late. One of the issues we've got today is that it's a very popular track day. And so I'm trying my best to get around the traffic, but I don't blame everyone for coming out and doing this day because it's so hot and sunny. So, turn in. The front end feels wonderful. In typical Porsche style, it does reward trail braking. I'm putting the nose right deep into the tarmac. Oh, this is wonderful. So flowing. Deep in here. This is convenient, we're now chasing another 991 GT3. Let's see what he's made of. Chill! Oh yeah, the trail brake in there. If you keep the brakes on and bleed off into the corner, this is one of the most rewarding cars for that technique. It loves a bit of weight on the nose, more than most because there's so much weight over the rear axle because the engine's so far out there. Woo! The pull, the pull of this thing. Absolutely. 
absolutely awesome. And it's so flat through the corners. There's something about a GT3 that, because the weight distribution is unconventionally far back, it's one of the cars that really teaches you a bit of discipline with your throttle foot because if you alter the throttle mid corner, if you lift off mid corner, you do still have that that sort of weird Porsche unbalancing as it were. Let me just give you a tour around of some cars. This is the sort of general vibe that you get on track days like this. I mean, this is brand new. This was collected uh, about three days ago, uh, straight on track. It's beautiful Huracan Performante. There's been quite a lot of 720Ss as well joining us over the last few days. As you can see, another one here. Massive round of applause to the gentleman that brought the RS4 liter. You really don't see these things very often and to see it on track. Big round of applause to this hero. 997 GT2. I've been uh, following this for a few laps. The straight line punch of these is incredible. It's so good to see it on track. 675LT Spider. Uh, I forgot how fast these things were. I was following this earlier on. Uh, actually, in the 458 Speciale, the straight line punch of these is relentless. When you actually see the pull of the 720 next to an LT, it's incredible how much they've evolved the 720. To think that one day there'll be the 720 LT equivalent blows my mind. And this is when the GT2 RS used to be rare, the 997 GT2 RS. They only made 500 of these. Uh, it's funny to think how far Porsche have evolved in just that short amount of time. At the minute, I think there's probably over five or six GT2 RSs here. The 991 Gen. When these were launched, they were so ultra rare. And yet it's funny because the new GT2 RSs are changing hands for like half a million quid. I don't know what's going on between the 997 and the 991. The world's going crazy. Very special again to see this car here. All right, let's take you down to the other end of the pits. Here's my GT3, which will take you out in very shortly. A black one next to the Miami Blue. There's so many specs of GT3s here. I think the full spectrum of UK cars is actually here. Uh, check out the GT3 garage here, basically. Uh, this is where all of the, the Porsche GT cars seem to be chilling. Uh, this is a friend of mine, Cavies. He's literally taken delivery of this car a few weeks ago. He's brought it down onto track. Wonderful Carmine Red Gen 2 GT3. There's another GT3 here. That uh, Lizard Green Gen 2 GT3 RS is one of the first in the UK. And the list goes on. There's another GT3 RS there, another GT2 RS there. And it just goes on and on and on. Um, one thing that I will 100% quantify is how prominent a presence Porsche has here. I just think they just take it over this, this track day scene. It seems that if you're really serious about driving on track but also still want that road car balance, not many cars seem to tick as many boxes as these GT products. And check out the pits, it's really showing. Also, this has just turned up another Gen 2 GT3 RS 991. This place is crackers! Anyway, to the GT3. I'm gonna give you a full lap and shut up.
shift. Unbelievable. And that was that. The day has evaporated. I mean, fun doesn't even begin to do this justice. You might be wondering why I haven't uh, featured the 458 Speciale in this video. I did bring it with the idea of getting it on track, but this thing has absolutely been taking all of my time. The idea originally was to compare the two cars and see how they are on track, but that's gonna come soon. We're gonna get involved in that. I think it just allows for more content with these two cars. To have them next to each other, this is the first time they've seen each other. And while I did take that on track this morning, because this is brand new, I just wanted to explore its characteristics and find out what it's all about. They're so different. We're definitely gonna come back and do a comparison video soon. Um, but they're yeah, equally very special cars. I don't know where to, to begin, really. We're definitely gonna have to dedicate a, a video, allocate some serious time to comparing them both. But today, the focus has been on the GT3 and what a wonderful experience it's been. The gearbox is incredible, the shift speed, audible tone change, the brakes are fantastic, it anchors on like nothing else. Rewards you for trail braking, it loves weight on the nose, that's when it really eats into the asphalt. Yeah, all in all, for the first time on track in a brand new car, it was also, importantly, very confidence inspiring. It's time to take these two back to back. Not right now, but next time. Anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching, I shall see you next time. Ciao.